I've always been fascinated by curries. When I was in college, I had my first one, and I thought it was terrific, but I've never been happy with what I've duplicated. So I've kept working on it, keep liking them, and today we're going to try a cauliflower and potato curry. So I'm going to start with about a half a cup of water in a large pan because we want enough room here for everything to cook. We're going to be adding quite a few ingredients later. And to that, I'm going to add about one medium onion that's been chopped up. Uh, I also, uh, you could measure it out, it'd be about a, about a cup of onion. We're going to let that uh, just cook in the water, basically, for eh, about three minutes until it starts to uh, become a little translucent. We're reducing the amount of fat here. If you wanted to cook this in a little bit of vegetable oil, you could do that. I'm trying to cut the calories back on this just a tad. Um, but that would enable you to carry some of the flavors that are not water-soluble a little bit better because there's nothing else in here that I'm going to add that's going to give you fat uh, to this. If you do do that, uh, we can add a little bit of water as cooking goes along with some of the other ingredients if things start to stick. So uh, feel free to switch it out with uh, maybe one to two tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil or uh, olive oil if you choose to instead of the water. Otherwise, it's going to cook for a couple of minutes. We'll assume that has happened. And I'm going to add to that about um, three to five red potatoes. I want to make sure that you're using a potato that's going to hold its shape as it cooks. If you use a russet potato, it's going to fall apart, makes a great mashed potato or a potato soup, uh, but doesn't do as well for something like this. So um, we're just going to add those. I've cut them into fairly big chunks. Uh, and to that, I'm also going to add about three cups of cauliflower. Um, Recipes always say one head, one half a head. I've never found that useful because the heads aren't uniform in size. So this is going to come to a, a boil. We're going to turn it down and let it simmer. And uh, this will cook, it, again, somewhere between three to five minutes. If, again, you start to run out of water, add a little bit more. Because if potatoes scorch on you, you're not going to be able to go back and get that out of there. You're just going to have to start over because you won't cover up the flavors of the uh, the potato, uh, the scorch. So I'm going to, while that's uh, working, we're going to try and find the right burner here. And I'm going to uh, start working on the uh, spices that are going to go in with this. Now, most of the recipes that I've used have used a curry powder, which for Americans is a, a convenience food product, just like we use baking powder instead of having to mix things around. So uh, I'm actually going to start the way an Indian family would, although theirs would be a much better selection. Uh, and I've got individual spices and herbs here. So I'm going to start with um, a half a teaspoon of cumin seeds and put those in here. I'm going to toast these so that the flavors develop more. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of turmeric, half a teaspoon of coriander, half a teaspoon, excuse me, a fourth of a teaspoon of ground ginger, fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then somewhere between an eighth to a fourth, even a half a teaspoon of uh, cayenne pepper. It's going to depend totally on how spicy you want this to be. Now this you're going to toast for up to two minutes, but you're going to have to keep your nose on it and stir it constantly to make sure that it doesn't go, again, beyond where you want the flavors to be. What you're trying to do is get those flavors to bloom for you. Once you get your spices and herb mix done, then make sure you take it off the heat. You may even want to transfer it to uh, another pan because you don't want it continued cooking, and this pan will be hot, and it will continue to cook on you. You'll also notice that as they get blended together, they uh, take on a different appearance. Uh, it's not that they brown so much. Most of them were brown before. Uh, they're not clumped. They're just well blended together. They've got a, a sort of a toasty look to them. Okay. You notice that most of the water is gone. You need to stir this uh, fairly often as it cooks. It doesn't have to be constantly like the spices were. Uh, but you need to stir it enough that you can make sure that it's, it's not sticking on you or not scorching on you. Once you have uh, got it cooked just a little bit, I'm going to add a couple of more ingredients. One is a 14 and a half ounce or two cups worth of either chopped or uh, crushed uh, tomatoes. I use canned. You could use fresh if you chose. I'm going to add a half a cup of golden raisins. Now, raisins are here uh, to add a little bit of sweetness to counteract some of the spices. They are not essential. Uh, you could use a couple of tablespoons of uh, apple juice uh, concentrate if you don't want to use raisins. 
Uh, and then also I'm going to add our spice mixture. And remember this has turmeric in it, so it's going to add a lot of yellow color. And if you've got utensils that you don't want discolored, uh, don't use them in this because they will end up uh, with that yellow color and it will uh, spread throughout the, the cauliflower and the potatoes as these cook. The other thing I'm going to add is about a half a teaspoon of kosher salt. And that's going to help tie all those flavors together. About 20 minutes. Again, check it from time to time to make sure that it's not sticking. Uh, turn it down if you need to. It just needs to be at a simmer. And some of the liquids are going to come out of some of those vegetables, and it's going to make a great sauce to go with it. All right, doesn't that look great? You've got all that great color now. Instead of white potatoes and white cauliflower, you have this beautiful golden color mixed in with the red. I'm going to serve this over some brown rice. And I think you're going to find that uh, if you're a curry fan, this is a terrific recipe to start with because you can start with this blend of herbs and spices and make it more spicy. You can mellow it out with a few more raisins. You can just really play with it. And I'm just going to put on some, some parsley, the cook's friend here, just to make it look prettier. Uh, I hope you'll give this one a try. Uh, it's cauliflower and potato curry for Oklahoma Gardening. I'm Barbara Brown. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.